Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do the my first time tag mainly because of the clickbait. People are going to see my first time and think I'm talking about my first time sleeping with someone, but I'm not actually going to talk about that because that's my business. And I'm going to be talking about my other first time doing many many things and this is a tag that I've seen YouTubers do before. It's a very 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 old tag. I was watching Zoella's old one of it and I was like you know what I'm gonna do that because I've left all my ideas at my dad's an idea book <laughs> um, for videos for my YouTube channel and I've left it at my dad's so I've had to be using my own brain for ideas. Ah, shock horror! So I'm just gonna be doing this basically because I've run out of ideas right now. And I do have loads of ideas, it's just they're all at my dad's still because I'm still moving stuff in my room. Room tour video will be coming up eventually, I promise. First tweet. Oh god, how do you even find that out without like spending years and years looking? I'm gonna use my fan account, which I'm not gonna give the username for. It's got 10.8 thousand followers, which is pretty impressive. It used to have more than that, but I think I used to have like 12,000, but because I stopped tweeting on it quite a while ago, <laughs> a lot of people have unfollowed me, which is fair enough. This was a Harry Potter fan account that I made when I was like 17. No, this is going to take years. It, look, there's so many tweets, like how can you find out? I Basically, I used to tweet like literally a million times a day, like I'd tweet until I got tweet limit and then wait for tweet limit to run out. Tweet limit is basically where you tweet too much in one day, so Twitter stops you tweeting for a little bit. And it lasts for about five, three hours or something, uh, I think, from what I can remember. And I used to hit tweet limit every single day because I would do things called pick spams, where I would just use my Instagram, which is why there's so many Harry Potter things on my Instagram. Um, I would use my Instagram to basically spam the hell out of my followers but they loved it and I every tweet used to get like 10 retweets per photo and that's why it's taking me so long so I can't find my first tweet but I am going to read you this is from Christmas Eve 2013 and it's just loads of people wishing me Merry Christmas and then I found this isn't my first tweet but this is the best I can do because it won't go any further Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. I'm gonna screenshot it so I can put it on the screen here for you. It says, Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. <laughs> and it got 11 tweets and 6 likes, and it's just a collage of Harry Potter at Christmas. First YouTube video was, I've answered this before, but my first YouTube video was doing a vlog um, where me and Jessica basically stalked Ariana Grande in London. I would never usually stalk a celebrity but Jessica was like let's go up to London and wait outside her hotel because I've never done that before and I want to meet her. So we waited outside the hotel for ages. We got a few not really hate comments but mean kind of sarcastic comments on that video because it got quite a lot of views for my first ever video and that was from people from Jessica's Twitter, like Ariana fans, and they were saying that we weren't dedicated because we didn't stay the whole time, and then they actually managed to meet her just like an hour after me and Jessica left. But the reason that we left was because she was quite young back then, and my mum wanted her back before it was dark. So I had to take her home, I was being responsible, and then everyone else got to meet Ariana and we were so sad because we were looking at the pictures and it was literally people we'd been talking to and people that got there after we did because we got there at like 5 o'clock in the morning or something stupid into London and other people were turning up at like 8 in the morning and they met her so to say we're not dedicated was pretty annoying but you know I'm not a teenager anymore so I don't really give a shit about that kind of thing but these fangirls were going harsh on us, but at the end of the day I'm glad we did it for the experience and if I hadn't done it, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel right now probably, I probably wouldn't have done it. I just thought I'd film it and put it onto YouTube, I didn't think it was going to turn into a whole channel, like I'd always wanted to vlog, but I didn't actually intend on having a channel, I just kind of wanted to vlog some things and put them on my channel and that's why I only used to post like once a month or whatever, but yeah. The 
rest is history. First person you subscribe to on YouTube, I have literally no idea, I couldn't tell you. First Facebook profile pic, um, I think I've done this before on another video. It's just a forest, that's literally it and it's not even me. Oh, I'm going through so many disgusting ones right now. Yeah, literally, it's just a forest, like that's it, it's just a forest. And then my second one is like me with all my friends and me just looking ugly as fuck and just looking like I'm dying. I'll save that as well so I can show you right here. Um, it's just me. Look at what I'm wearing, it's so fucking bad. Like, my fashion was terrible, I'm not gonna lie to you, my fashion was bloody awful. This was when I was going into my emo phase. Do you still talk to your first love? I don't have a first love. I don't believe I've ever been in love. They say you know when you've been in love and if I can't answer the question of have you ever been in love and I'm like, hmm, I don't know, then I probably haven't been in love so I don't have a first love. What was your first alcoholic drink? I don't, I think it was wine. I think my mum gave me wine at Christmas once. She used to give me like a glass at Christmas and it used to be like, <laughs> so exciting to me and it was like a big moment every Christmas I'd be like do you think mum will let us have a bit of wine and then she'd give us a tiny tiny glass of wine and I'd sit there like loving it and I remember the first time she gave me wine I like chugged it she was like no 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 stop slow down you can't drink it that fast like a normal drink and I was like why not and she was like <laughs> she was like you shouldn't even be able to and I was just like Sorry. And I think I spat it back into the glass because I was like, sorry. <laughs> Alcoholic from day one. What was your first job? Um, I'm still at it. Mind you, I suppose it doesn't... My first job, I suppose, would technically be when I was being an Avon representative or when I was doing a paper round. These were just jobs that I got because I couldn't get a job at the age of 16. Like, it's so hard. And, I mean, when I see children now getting jobs, I'm just like, what the fuck, how are you doing this? Because my sister, for instance, got a job at McDonald's, and that was her second interview. She went for Primark first, didn't get it, then went to McDonald's and got it. And for me, it took me literally two years to get a job, because every time I went for a job when I was at school, it was, you're not flexible enough. And you don't have enough experience. So then I got a paper round, and I ended up just quitting. Basically I didn't even quit, I just stopped <laughs> delivering the papers and kept getting paid for it. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite bad, don't do that. <laughs> like, it was so much hard work and effort. I think I only lasted actually doing it for about a month because you have to put all the leaflets in the newspapers then walk around because I didn't have a bike, putting it through every letterbox and you get some people who were like, I don't want a newspaper and they'd have a go at you. And yeah, I just hated that so much. Don't get a paper round, it's just not worth it. What was your first car? I haven't had one yet. Everyone keeps telling me that I need to learn to drive and everyone's always asking me when I'm gonna learn. I don't feel the need or want to learn to drive. I do sometimes when I'm walking be like, God, I wish I could drive right now because I'm in so much pain. Like when I walk sometimes, like when I'm going shopping and I bring a huge Tesco bag and then I'm walking back and I'm like, ugh, I wish I could drive. But for me, I don't feel the need to learn to drive at the moment because I just, I don't live far from work. I don't really have to go anywhere far. If I do, I'll be going by train or bus. And I just, I don't know, I just don't trust myself behind the wheel of a car and I just don't feel excited at the thought of learning, I just feel scared. And I don't feel like I'd be a good driver so I'm not going to put myself on the road and that's just the way it is. Maybe I'll change my mind in the future and I'll learn to drive but I don't think that I need to learn to drive and it does kind of piss me off when people are like slating me for not learning to drive. When it's my choice. It's the first person to text you today. So I think it was my mum. No, it was my dad actually. He was asking me if I was okay. Uh, just because I was getting chest pains last night, but that's it. Who was the first person you thought of this morning? I don't know actually. 
The first thing I thought about was having to call work. That was it. Because I got a doctor's appointment in like an hour. But that was it. Need to call work, need to call the doctors. Where did you go on your first ride? Where did you go on your first ride on an aeroplane? To Spain. I went to Marbella with my friends. It was only a couple of months ago. <laughs> um, I, I, I was so thinking I was going to be terrified. I was so thinking I was going to be scared because I'm terrified of heights. Every time I used to look up at planes in the sky, I'd be like, dear God, never in my life will I ever make myself do that. I don't give a shit. If I never go on holiday, I'm never going in the sky. Then I pushed myself to go on a plane. I did it. I thought I was going to have a panic attack and break down. Sorry, I got cold. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a panic attack and break down, but I didn't. My friend kept saying, are you okay, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm totally fine. When we went off the floor, I still, like, I didn't get anxious or anything. I didn't feel nervous. I didn't, my palms didn't get sweaty. I didn't feel like I couldn't breathe. I didn't feel like I was going to have a panic attack. It was really strange. I felt calm as fuck. Maybe it's because I was tired as hell, but I literally slept like an hour before we got on because of my insomnia and because I was excited. I fell asleep and then I woke up and I was like, Oh, are we in the sky? And I just looked out the window and it's totally fine because it doesn't feel like you're high up. It's so strange. It's so weird. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? My first best friend was a guy I met at nursery, I believe. we friends for a very, very long time until about secondary school. We still talked a little bit during secondary school and then we just kind of stopped talking. Uh, for no reason other than people grow apart. One thing I did hate about being friends with a boy, like having a boy best friend, is that people just always assumed that we were together. Like, I remember one time I went around his house and my parents accused me of sleeping with him and I was like 13 and I got so upset because I'd never even kissed a boy or anything like that. I'd never done anything like that. I didn't think of him like that. He was like a brother. It just really made me upset. People always assume that every single time. Even from the youngest age, adults would assume it and it's like, ew, I'm not like eight, why are you assuming these things? But yeah. What was your first sleepover? Do you know I don't really know? I can't remember. I think it was my next door neighbour's house, which <laughs> it's not very far, is it? But I guess if I got scared during the night I could go home. I have a memory of getting scared during the night and my mum coming to pick me up once and it was someone's birthday like in my family and I went downstairs and there was like a ball pit ready for them. I don't know if this is a real memory but it's like very, it's one of their memories, you're not sure if it's real or not. That couldn't have been next door so maybe that was my first sleepover. What was the first thing you did this morning? The first thing I did was call the doctors then I realised they don't open till 8 <laughs> so then I got dressed. It's not serious, I hope. I'm not dying. I hope. <laughs> what was the first concert you ever went to? The first concert I ever went to, I think, I can't remember, like, it's either My Chemical Romance or it was Sugar Babes and McFly performing together. I don't know which one came first, but it's either one of them. It's either My Chemical Romance or Sugar Babes and McFly. I like to say My Chemical Romance because it's cooler. First broken bone. I have never broken any of my bones. Ever. I'm just late to everything in life. Like, I'm just late at doing everything in life. You know, going on holiday, learning to swim, learning to drive, getting a job, fucking breaking bones. I, I mean, I never want to break a bone, but I probably will at some point. First piercings were my ears, only like two years ago, again, I'm late to everything. I just never wanted to do it, and then I I only did it to kind of get over the fear. I actually just did it to do it for the first time and to get it over with. And I haven't worn them since. I've still got the hole in this ear, but this one's closed up, I think. It wasn't that bad. I would do it again. Um, however, I don't think earrings suit me, so I just stopped wearing them. First foreign country you've gone to was actually Paris. I went for one day. Well, basically half a day. We went to Disneyland Paris with my dad. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I almost passed out queuing up for one of the rides because it was so hot. 
and I guess I wasn't used to that kind of weather. <laughs> Little pale me couldn't handle it. I was going to answer more questions but my camera is running out so I'm going to have to cut this video short. Thank you so much for watching. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe, shit. Um, um, turn on notifications, I'm sorry this is such a rush, um, I wanted to answer more but they're basically things I've already answered before in other videos so don't even worry about it. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, 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 bye! <laughs>